Inter 6, Bologna 1. The final score in the reverse fixture. A defeat that the Rosso Blue haven't forgotten and will be out to avenge when they host the Nerazzurri. The direct centre-focused attacking style of Sinisha Mihailovic's side could do the trick, as it has time and time again this campaign. Waiting for the run of Arnautovic. Shifts that through, it's Arnautovic, you can open the scoring. The middle of the pitch is Marco Arnautovic's hunting ground. Bologna's midfield line is five metres closer to the opposition's goal when he's on the pitch. The league we sort of hit Marco, you know, with the ball and then Musa sort of comes round to help him out and Marco sort of just lays it down, so no, it's good. The Austrian is excellent at lurking between defenders, waiting for the right moment to exchange a quick one-two with a teammate to open up space. And he's even more deadly when in the box. Back to Arnautovic, can he get the shot away? Back to Barrow! Superbly worked from the Rosso Blue. Arnautovic is also perfectly capable of taking matters in his own hands. Arnautovic taps off a fine performance. When he's in action, Bologna's chances of scoring increase by 5%. He's Serie A's fourth most decisive player. Plan B is to play the ball in behind the defence, something the Rosso Blue have done repeatedly this season. Dominguez spotted the run of Barrow, he's picked him up! Once a space behind the opposition's defence opens up, Bologna's midfielders make the pass while the forwards make a coordinated run towards the area between the defenders and the keeper. Sansone was a return penalty. This worked like a charm against Torino and gave Riccardo Orsolini a scoring opportunity in Sassuolo. That's a good first touch. Orsolini! How to take the lead in just seven rounds. A masterclass by Inter. Bastoni this time, Barella and Alexis Sanchez. The seven point gap between them and first place has been closed. And now, thanks to seven wins on the spin, they lead the pack. And with a lot of changes in personnel, but not in results, they showed they indeed have improved. First things first, the center of gravity. When in possession, it's seven metres higher up the pitch than the first 12 games of the season, which means a lot of players, 10 in fact, in the opposition half. This makes it easier to pinpoint where to attack, to anticipate the defender's movements and to create a chance. The shot from Gagliardi! A full-on attack that involves the whole team, starting from the back three. D'Ambrosio! Skriniar, shooting chance for the Slovak! Lately, Alessandro Bastoni has been enjoying life in the opposition half. Bastoni has time and space to pick out a cross. John Freeze! The number 95 has a 74% passing availability rate when he's in the opponent's half. That's almost 10% more than his fellow defenders. Against Roma, Bastoni started off on the midfield line beside Hakan Chalanoğlu and then made a run towards the box. The Turkish playmaker pulled his marker out of position thanks to a quick exchange, but it was the touch from Bastoni that really opened up Roma's defence. Working together, they created a scoring chance. Chalonoli once more, Dzeko! Six passes and five players involved. Simone Inzaghi's coordinated predators are well-nigh unstoppable. Fifteen different goal scorers and Serie A's best attack record with 49 goals scored. Serie A virtual coach. Calcio in numbers.